What's up guys? Today is going to be a fun one and a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the best bow fishing bows based on all these bows that I have and my own experience. Let's get to it. Gear up and get outside. All right, so this is a little bit different than a lot of the videos I do, except that it's a gear review and that's our main jam. And this is something I feel like should be talked about because over the past year, I've been getting into bow fishing. And while I may not be an expert, in fact, I'm still pretty novice, pretty beginner, but so are a lot of you. And if you haven't tried bow fishing, I recommend it because it is tons of fun and you can do it almost anywhere. Do check your state regs. I'll say one of the reasons I'm passionate about what I'm doing with Outdoor Empire is because I really like to try new things, especially when it comes to the outdoors and I hope you do too and so just the fact that I'm relatively new to bow fishing but I'm still doing this review hopefully encourages you to get out and try something as well so as I got into it I was studying bow fishing bows and there's a lot out there and it's hard to know what's what and what's worth the money what's not a lot of the guys that do videos on bow fishing are awesome I've watched tons of them but they've been doing it a long time they kind of know what they want and they like this video it'll be helpful to some of you out there that already bow fish but it will probably be especially helpful helpful to people who are brand new to bow fishing or you're looking to upgrade from your very starter bow. First things first, let's just talk a minute about the different kinds of bow fishing bows you're going to find. One common type you're gonna find is a recurve bow, something like this. Now these are sometimes the cheaper ones, sometimes the more basic ones, but this is a very common one, often with the drum reel if it's really cheap, okay? We're gonna talk about a couple of those. Then you get up into these compound bows, all right? There's a whole bunch of these types. There's three main types of reels. A lot of these kind of mid-price range combos that you'll find are gonna have a spin cast reel. We'll talk more about reels and other stuff later in the video, so be sure to stick around for some tips and tricks and thoughts about what to look for when you're looking for a bow. Then you get into a little more expensive, a little fancier compound bows that might have something like a jug or a bottle reel. And for those of you that are well into bow fishing, you're probably also thinking, well, he's missing some of the best ones. And one of those is gonna be something like the Oneida Osprey. Bows like the Oneida Osprey are lever bows, so slightly different action. They just function a little bit differently. They're also much more expensive. I depleted my bow fishing bow budget on these, so I didn't get one because those run around 800, 1,000 bucks just for the bow. So if you've been bow fishing a long time already and that's what you want, great. You probably know that because you've been doing it. But if you're starting out, you're probably like me and you're not quite ready to splurge a thousand bucks just for the bow. So that's a great bow. Everybody loves it. If you just want a super nice bow fishing bow, go ahead and get that one. That's all right. But these are the bows that I personally reviewed and vetted. And these are the things I like and don't like about them. Starting from the bottom with number 10 of the bows that I tested is the... Cajun fish stick. Cajun bow fishing bows are made by Bear Archery. They make a lot of hunting bows and things as well. Very reputable brand in the industry. And they make a series of these bow fishing bows, the base model of which is this fish stick. Now this is a recurve bow. It has a drum reel. It's sold in a kit with everything you see here, plus one fiberglass arrow. It has the basic things you want. It's got some finger guards. It's got a little rolling arrow rest, which is functional and easily adjustable on the fly. And it's got a drum reel, which is about as cheap and simple as you can get it. There's really no mechanical parts. The fish stick has a draw weight of 45 pounds, but since it's a recurve, it's pretty easy to get a shot off at any number of weights in between there. One thing I don't like about this is there's nowhere to place your arrow. Now you can accessorize this with a quiver or something on there, but I don't love the drum reel because it really drags when you shoot an arrow it causes enough resistance that you just lose a lot of velocity from on your arrow right off the get-go so you're gonna be shooting at shorter range and may have a harder time getting those big fish fast if they're fast but at a list price of $174.99 it does lower the barrier to get into the sport and you can usually find it for cheaper than that either at your local shop or online Number nine on my list is also from Cajun. It's the Shore Runner. Now this is a great bow. It's totally fine. It sits in the middle of the price range at $300 list, but I think it's a little bit in the doldrums compared to what you can find above and below it. It has a spin cast reel, and I'm not a big fan of spin cast reels. In fact, when I was shot this one this morning, I forgot to push the button and I lost my arrow. The line just broke. That happens, it happens to me a lot, probably just because I'm new and I'm not very smart, but it'll probably happen to you too at some point, and that could even break a reel over time and you're gonna lose some arrows. So in general, I am not a fan of the spin cast reels, but I know a lot of folks are, and so don't let that stop you. It's fine, it works, it's functional. It's not a bad bow, it's not a bad setup, and it's not a bad price. 
but my preference would be either to spend a little bit more money and get a better setup or spend a little bit less and just get a cheaper one to start. I do like the Cajun brush fire arrow rest that comes on it. It does come with one arrow, but other than that, it's pretty basic. It has a 50 pound draw weight, which is more than enough for most bow fishing you'll ever do, but it's a constant draw. So it doesn't have adjustable cams and it doesn't have adjustable limbs. It is what it is right out of the box. And that's why it's at that mid price point. It's a little bit heavy, but again, it's totally usable. The reason this isn't farther up on my list is because it just doesn't offer me much that's very exciting. Number eight on my list is the Muzzy Vice. This too is generally sold in a combination kit, but you can just buy the bow. The reason I like it better than the Shore Runner is mainly because it has adjustable cams. You can adjust the draw weight between 24 and 55 pounds, and you can adjust the draw length from about 24 to 31 inches if you want. It's almost the same price as the Shore Runner, but it is a bit more at $350 typically, but you often find it on sale. It does come with an arrow. However, this was the first spin cast bow fishing kit I used and I lost my Muzzy Arrow, so I stuck a Cajun one on there, but it does come with an arrow. However, the Muzzy Arrow doesn't have a slide. It just attaches straight on the back. You don't really need a slide with a spin cast reel as I understand it, so I wouldn't be worried about that. A couple things I do like about it are that fish hook arrow rest. I find that just really easy and quick to use. The reel's all right for what it is, but one problem I had with it at the beginning is that this was loose. This would always wiggle on me and I had to get a, an Allen wrench in there to tighten it, but it's really hard to find an Allen wrench. They will sit in there. Just accessing it is difficult. So this is gonna come loose on you and it's gonna pivot and it's annoying. So it's a fine compound bow and just the bow itself is pretty decent. So you could just get this bow and then outfit it with a different reel and different accessories if you want. And this is a little bit heavier than some of the other bows as well. So it's not my top pick, but it's definitely a good buy. And I should say of all the spin cast combos you're gonna find, the Muzzy Vice is my favorite. Number seven and my best budget pick is the PSE Kingfisher 56. So this is a pretty basic recurve bow but it's super lightweight. So compared to the fish stick, it's just lighter. While this price is a little bit more at 190, you can usually find it for cheaper. It has a drum reel. It's kind of same issue there. I don't love the drum reel, but at least they put a little quiver on it, which is kind of handy. I found that useful just to keep track of my arrow like this. I also like the arrow rest that comes with it from PSE. It has a good grip, just feels good in the hand. It's super lightweight again, and it has a 40 pound draw weight. So if you just want to get started and see if you even like the sport and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this is my pick for the best budget option or the best bow fishing bow kit under 200 bucks. Number six on my list is the Center Point Typhon. Now, this bow is not overly impressive in any way, but it's a great buy for a compound bow at 300 bucks for the whole kit. And for that, you get a decent bow that's adjustable. It has adjustable cams, adjustable limbs, so you can adjust both the draw weight and the draw length. It's a smaller frame, which makes it also a great option for kids. It's not super lightweight, however. It comes with an arrow. It comes with an arrow rest, a whisker biscuit arrow rest actually from Cajun. And then it comes with a very basic and simple spin cast reel. Again, I don't love those spin cast reels and this one is smaller. It's not as beefy as the ones on the Cajun Shore Runner or the Muzzy Vice, but it is suitable. It works and it has this Dyneema fishing line that's included and that's fine. One issue I had with this though in that reel, the way they had that line tied on when I first shot this along a distance from a boat, the, the line went all the way out and then I couldn't reel it back in. I had to take the reel apart in the process, my line got all tangled up and that's a big hassle, but I got it put back together and it works fine. Another issue I see with mine, and again, this might just be mine, but is this on this stabilizer here, it kind of wiggles, it's not super tight. And it's not because I don't have it tight into, into the riser, it's because of the way they attach the stabilizer to the bolt that goes in there, you can't adjust it. So it's just got a little wiggle to it, not the end of the world, but you know, it's not ideal either. But again, for 300 bucks and maybe even cheaper on sale, that is a great buy for a compound bow fishing bow kit. So the Center Point Typhon is my pick for the best cheap compound bow combo or for the best bow for kids. So coming in at number five on my list is the Fin Finder Sand Shark. I actually love this bow. I was surprised at how much I like it. It's the only one I have here that's made of wood. 
and it feels so good in the hand. The riser is made of maple and other hardwood. The handle, the grip is nicely carved. It's very well balanced and it feels nice and lightweight. If you buy the kit, it comes with everything you need. It comes with the finger savers. It comes with this jug reel, which it says it's a fin finder and certainly it is, but this is actually the same exact jug reel as the Cajuns. It's the Cajun Winch Pro, just branded as a fin finder. But that's fine because it's an excellent reel. I love it on any bow. They do cost a bit more, but if you were gonna splurge on something, I'd probably splurge on one of these reels to get started. Just because I have found, being relatively new to this, that unlike a spin cast reel, I don't have as much hassle. You don't have to remember to, actually on this one, you do have to remember to push the button because the Cajuns, you do have to push the release before you shoot. But still, I, I just really like how it functions. And I like the better than a drum reel just because there's not as much drag and it's easier to and faster to get a fish in. It also comes with a really nice fin finder arrow rest which is totally suitable and it's really easy to assemble. You can fasten the limb screws by hand, no tools required, so it's really easy to break this thing down without an allen wrench or anything at all. And it's also reasonably priced. The bow alone is only $140. If you add the whole kit, then it's $320. That's not bad compared to others in that class. It does not, however, include an arrow, but arrows aren't too expensive either. You can buy those and you're gonna lose them, so you may as well buy a few. And you might only find a bundle available through other retailers. I found one online. By the way, I'll put links to all of these products in the description below. Those are affiliate links. If you use those links, it won't cost you anything extra. The name of the arrow rest is the Fin Finder Current. What I liked about using this bow is it's just really fast action. It's easy to pull, it's easy to release. Mine is a 35 pound draw weight, but you can also get it in a 45 pound. But I think that 35 pound is actually excellent, especially if you're gonna be out shooting for a long time or all day long. It's not hard, you can get quick releases. It just feels really nice. I really like this bow. So if you're looking for a bow or a kit in that mid price range, uh, then I would take a serious look at this Fin Finder Sand Shark. It's excellent. Coming in at number four, and my pick for the best recurve bow is the AMS Watermock. Now, AMS is one of the only brands I am aware of that specializes just in bow fishing. So it's pretty cool to support that small business. The Watermock is a recurve bow that also has hand or tool adjustable limb screws. It's easy to put together and take down. And if you buy the kit, it's $350 and it comes with the AMS jug reel. Now this isn't quite as robust. It's, there's not as much aluminum with it. It's more plastic compared to the Cajun jug reel, but I like it because it makes it lighter weight. And I actually like how it works. There's no release that you have to push on before firing. It's always loose. So right now it's ready to go. Then when you reel it in, you pull that trigger and you just hold that in while you reel. And that also acts as your drag, so you can let go or, or pull on it to adjust your drag. Has this foam tail here that just kind of makes it easy to find on your hands anywhere. And it sits close to the riser and the grip. It also has a quiver for the arrow that's included and it has AMS's Everglide slider system on there, which is very smooth. The name of this reel is the AMS Retriever Pro. And again, I think it's my favorite reel, even though it's not quite as heavy duty as the Cajun Winch Pro. The Watermock has a 45 pound draw weight. It's a recurve, so obviously that's not adjustable. You have a lot of flexibility in how far you pull it back, how far you draw. And so easy to get quick short shots in, easy to get longer shots in. And of all the recurves, I feel like this just kind of gives you the most power and the most consistent long shots. One other neat feature that's clever on this one is it has a built-in arrow tip wrench. It's nice because sometimes you have to tighten or loosen that tip and it can be cranked on there pretty hard or, or with water and grit getting in there, it can just be hard to adjust. So you've always got something there ready to tighten or loosen that tip on your arrow. I should also say tip to tip, this is 58 inches long and it has a draw length up to 28 inches with obviously variability in between there if you're not going full draw, which is I find most of the case when I'm bow fishing. I also love that it's super lightweight. The riser is actually made of magnesium, so it's a little bit lighter than some of the others. So you can hold this, carry it around all day without getting too tired. Number three and second runner up for me is the Cajun Sucker Punch. This is a great bow. It's very comfortable. It's very much, in fact, I dare say the riser might be exactly the same as the Shore Runner, but it's just got a nice smaller grip that's comfortable to grab onto. It's heavy, but not too heavy. The big difference between this and the Shore Runner is adjustability. It's just a bit more versatile. You can adjust the limbs 
cams for your draw length and you can adjust the cams for your draw weight. It actually comes with two sets of cams. It comes with this fixed constant draw cam that comes on from the factory and then it's also going to come with something you can swap out to make these adjustable. So that gives it a little more versatility especially if you're kind of working your way up and how hardcore you get into bow fishing. It comes with the Cajun Winch Pro jug reel which is a great reel and it comes with that Cajun brush fire arrow rest which I also find totally functional. It doesn't come with a whole lot of other bells and whistles. The other thing that is included with it is two arrows instead of one. They both have sliders. By default this comes with a constant draw at a 50 pound draw weight. Compared to some of the others, I find it just a little bit harder to draw, and since it is constant draw, it's great if you're just trying to let off at any time, which is often the case when you're bow fishing, but frankly, it wasn't my preference. When you put on the adjustable cam, you're gonna have 65% let off, and that is kind of nice, especially if you're holding on some bigger fish. I also like that it has a quiver, and at $400 list price, $450 for the Sucker Punch Pro, which is usually what you'll see now. It's actually quite a competitive price for this class. But there's a couple reasons that my pick for the best bow for the money is not this. Based on my experience and the bows I've used and tested and looked at and researched like crazy, my pick for the best bow fishing bow for the money is the PSE D3 bow fishing combo. The PSE D3, you can buy just the bow, is a great bow in itself. It's lighter weight, it feels really good in the hand, I dare say it's a little bit more compact. Axle to axle is 30 inches. It has adjustable cams. It has adjustable limbs. You can adjust your draw weight from between 30 and 40 pounds, which is really the ideal spot for bow fishing. And you can adjust your draw length from between 14 and 30 inches. So that'll accommodate a lot of different shooters. It has the PSE Tide Chaser Arrow Rest, which I find very functional and, and smooth and simple. And PSE must not make their own reels because I got this combo. Granted, it might have been from a retailer, I don't remember exactly, but I got this combo and it came with the Cajun Winch Pro. So a very popular jug or bottle reel. I think there's other names for them too. But I really like this type of reel, as I mentioned. This one does have a release, kind of like a spin cast reel though, just mind you that, that's a big difference from the AMS. But this is a great setup. It's lightweight, it's smooth to pull back, it's not hard to pull back, and it is a, it's just a comfortable bow to use. You could shoot it multiple times in a row. A lot of times bow fishing, unlike I think a lot of the bow hunters would say, is that bow fishing, you're shooting all the time. You're getting a lot of shots off, it's great target practice. So if you're shooting all day long, your arms are going to get tired. It's nice to have that with some let off as well. So you're not pulling on that full draw weight right there. This bow is also very lightweight compared to the Cajun or many of the others I'm, I've got up here. This is a lighter weight option for a, a nice compound bow. And at a list price of $399 for the combo or $289 just for the bow, that's very competitive. And that's why I call this the best bow for the money. It's not the cheapest, but it's far from the most expensive and it's a great buy. One little bonus it has that most of these don't have on it is a bowstring stop. So it's got that there, just a nice little add-on. So elephant in the room or bow to my right, you may have already guessed by now that my top pick for bow fishing bows is the AMS Hooligan V2. Of all the bows I've got, and as you can see, there's quite a few I've had sitting in my storage room for a while, this is the one that I grabbed the most. I've shot this the most, I've shot the most fish with this. I really like this bow. I like it for several reasons. It's very smooth. It does have adjustable cams, so the draw weight is adjustable from between 24 and 50 pounds. So you've got quite a range you can maneuver in there. I've got it set at 40 pounds from the factory and I find that totally sufficient. It's great for shooting all day. It'll shoot into big and small fish. I, I really like that weight. No, but, but really, I, I just love the whole kit. I love that AMS reel. Even though it's kind of plasticky, I just like that I don't have to think about pushing that button beforehand every time. It's just very foolproof. If you want to get a good jug reel that's simple to use on any of these bows, this AMS TNT Retriever is a good option. It comes with one arrow and it comes with that AMS slider and you can adjust the draw length from between 22 and 32 inches. 
I found that it works for me just fine, stock right from the factory. I bought this at Cabela's. You can find these in a lot of different retailers, so it's pretty well available. It's not the lightest of the bows I've got, but it's also not the heaviest. It's a decent weight. I really like that Air AMS arrow rest. It's got a roller in there and the arrow clicks inside there. It's just simple to use, but it's very fast. And AMS also puts pretty deep V channels on these cams. Cajun does that too, so they're very, they're the two nicest cams I'd say between Cajun and, and AMS, but I do like that. I haven't had any issues after hundreds of shots. Uh, the whole kit like this weighs 4.7 pounds. I really like that it's lightweight. It's not the lightest, but it's not the heaviest of the bows I have either out here. It's just a nice weight to be carrying around all day long. Still not as light as the AMS Watermock or some of those recurves, but it's a great middle ground. The biggest downside to this AMS Hooligan is the price. It comes in at $600 for the combo or $450 for the bow by itself. But you're getting a more quality, longer lasting, I hope, bow than some of these others. And you're not necessarily gonna need to move up real fast. So if you think you're really gonna like this, if you got that hunch that this is gonna be a sport you're gonna stick with, this might be a good option for you to spend just a hair more and know you've got a really good bow, you've got a good reel, everything's gonna work how you want. And maybe you'll add on stuff or upgrade later, but you probably won't want to move up as soon as you will with some of these other bows. So there you have it. My top pick is the AMS Hooligan V2. Let me just mention a few things to look for when you're looking at bow fishing bows and kits. One is, do you buy all of the things separate or do you buy a combo kit? Personally, I think the combo kits are a great way to go, especially if you're just starting out because you're gonna get everything you need. You're gonna get a reel, you're usually gonna get an arrow, and you're gonna get an arrow rest, and you're gonna get the bow. Those are the main components you have to have to really get out and start fishing. Then there's all kinds of fun stuff you can add on later, like lights, quivers, all kinds of accessories, but the real essentials usually come with these kits. And some of these brands only sell in kits. As far as I could tell, Cajun only send, sells their RTF or ready to fish kits, but some resellers might split those out and sell you just a bow here and there. There's nothing wrong with doing a piece mill and putting it together, and that might give you some flexibility. Maybe you can start with one of those recurve bows like that Sand Shark, and then you can add a jug reel. That's the best reel that you could even move on to a compound bow if you move up to one of those later. Get yourself a good arrow rest, but to be honest, I think any of them will do. You are gonna need some extra arrows and you're definitely gonna need some extra tips for those arrows. But the real thing I would, I would consider is that reel. Now, as a beginner, I think the way to go is either to spend as little money as possible on something like that PSC Kingfisher with the drum reel or you bump up, if you're gonna splurge on something, I'd get one of those jug reels, either the one from AMS or the Cajun Winch Pro. Both of those are really nice. Just note that there is that difference with the Winch Pro that even though it's more heavy duty, has more aluminum, you've got that push button release you've gotta hit before you shoot. If you're doing a compound bow, you might want to have some let off of the ones that we have here. Uh, the, the bows with let off include the Cajun Sucker Punch, the Muzzy Vice, that's another reason that I kind of like it better than some of those other spin cast kits is it has some let off so it's just easy to hold back at full draw. The PSC D3 has some let off. The Sucker Punch does if you, if you switch out the cams. I think the Center Point Typhon does as well. If you're wondering whether to go with a recurve or a compound bow, one, you may already have a preference based on what you like, and if so, go with that. But if you don't know, maybe start with a recurve, and then when you move to a compound, you'll appreciate it even more. All right, folks, I think that does it. I hope that gives you a good picture of what the best bow fishing bows are out there, and hopefully one of those is a good pick for you. If so, I put links to all these products in the description, as well as a link to our website for more information. If you haven't tried bow fishing before, I highly recommend it. You may even be able to help get rid of some of those invasive species where you're at. Now gear up and get outside.